If you somehow found my channel, please do like, share and subscribe, do all of that good stuff and leave a comment on what you think about the video. Now I recently just finished this webtoon called All Deal, which I have talked about in one of my previous videos and one of my most successful videos on this channel. In that video, I had only read about 30 chapters and after finishing up a while ago, I can say for certain, we need an anime now. So I recommend you go support the creator so we can actually get this cracking because honestly, every day without an All Deal anime makes my soul bark. I don't really know what that means. Ordeal is based in Trinidad and Tobago and is about a kid called Hart who lives in a society of superpowered humans. Through some turn of events he gets powers and from there the story is essentially leading up to one big grudge match. Now I don't want to say too much, I'd advise you to just read it. Now Ordeal is by far the most unique webtoon I have ever read. The art style is crisp and clean and the setting is very unique. The reason this webtoon is so good is because it doesn't try to be a carbon copy of an already existing webtoon. The amazing thing with Ordeal is that it's unapologetically just sticking to its own rules and to be honest I dig that. Now one of the first things you'll notice is that the cast of All Deal is all made up of black characters and if the many mangas, anime and webtoons I've consumed can tell me one thing is that you don't get much manga or webtoons that are made up of solely black characters. It just doesn't happen. And no, Boondocks doesn't count. Now black representation in anime is a very weird and touchy subject and I don't even understand why it should be. But considering everyone on the internet is problematic nowadays I guess the issue is not too far fetched. But I genuinely believe All Deal could open a window of opportunity for anime that feature more black characters and that are owned by people of colour. Now don't get me wrong, we've had some absolute legendary black characters already. Miroko, Yoroichi, Ogun. Me saying that All Deal has amazing potential in terms of improving black representation in anime doesn't mean we don't already have some major players already. It just would be absolutely amazing if we had one more. Now the reason I'm harping on this point is because of the cosplay community. Cosplaying is not something I've done but I understand a lot of people take pride and joy in dressing up as their favourite characters, simply because they love and want to embody what they love and at the surface of it that's a beautiful thing. However, there have been some cases within the black cosplay community where black people has cosplayed white characters and our insult is simply because the original character is white. One, I don't see how that makes a shred of a difference. Black, white, purple, blue, Namekian, everyone's style of cosplay is different and one person won't look like the next person or be an exact replica of the anime. There will always be a sense of personal flair but some of us in the anime community seem to think it's absolutely okay to hurl racial abuse at black cosplayers simply because of their skin color. During the research portion of this video I found a case of a young lady called Shirlene who cosplayed an anime character from the Fate series and just received a crazy amount of abuse simply for her color. I mean it doesn't take a genius to understand that these people hurling racial abuse are a poor representation of the anime community and should not be associated with. I even accidentally stumbled onto another case and at that point it was clear to me that this wasn't just a past problem this was an active problem in the community and it's something that should not be overlooked in the slightest. Now that was a little touchy but my point still stands, Ordeal could be incredible and a nice change of pace for anime fans in general. The main essence of Ordeal is the art style, for the most part the author's art style is absolutely stunning and every chapter is a visual spectacle, I mean when he adds colour, he f***ing adds colour. Now that's not to say Ordeal doesn't have any other redeeming qualities, the location and story are pretty good and doesn't really fit into any of the webtoon categories I've read so far. So as you could imagine, when reading Ordeal it was genuinely like a breath of fresh air. Now I'm not I'm not saying it's the best webtoon in the world, however I'm saying it's way too good for people not to be reading. Also, Ordeal has given birth to my new waifu queen. Oh. Andre, I love you baby. For the longest time I took a step away from webtoon because a lot of it started to seem repetitive and frankly quite boring. I was going out and actually searching for series that I could read but absolutely none were visually pleasing or even had an interesting premise. But when I went back to pick up Ordeal it's like a light bulb switch saying yeah this is it. The fact that Ordeal is as different as it is makes me feel as if there's hope for webtoons in the anime medium. If Ordeal was to ever get animated it would be hands down one of the best shows that season. Ordeal may be the change we need to spice up the anime community and it could succeed in certain areas Yasuke failed. Ordeal in my opinion is the proof we need that webtoons are here to stay and are most likely the next logical step for anime in general. The disappointment of God of High School aside, the Tower of God showed a promising side to the webtoon scene and to be honest many more webtoons should be given a shot to shine because I genuinely believe there are a lot of amazing stories to be told. Well that's it for this video, if you enjoy the content please think about subscribing, leaving a comment down below to let me know what content you would like to see and 100% I'll get to it. I'm well and I'll catch you in the next one.